Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully late. And today, this message is going to be titled, America is going to be visited. You see? Because pretty soon, and Yahweh by Shema is going to unleash his wrath upon this place for all the weakness that has been committed, for, for the proudness that go on here. You see all the uh, the homo acts that go on here, the acts of Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, Yahweh by Shema Shai is very displeased with this place, and he's finna get ready and destroy it. And he has given us many signs that America is through, man. And we're to warn you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to repent and return back into your powers, or you're gonna be caught up in the wrath to come. You see. Matter of fact, so I'm gonna grab this first. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 6. I'm reading NLT. It says, Flee from Babylon, save yourselves. You see, and that's to uh, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How do you flee by the way of your mind? You see, putting off all that wickedness, stop eating pork, smoking squares, committing adultery. Just being a wicked nigga. You see? And hey, return back into your powers. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah being his only begotten son. Who you know as Jesus Christ. Who came down in the flesh. And shed his blood for our nation. To put us back in the good graces of the Heavenly Father himself. You see? So once again it says flee from Babylon. Save yourselves. Don't get trapped in her punishment. You see, you're going to get trapped in the punishment set to come here. So when the Lord get ready and uh, visit America and bring his wrath upon this place in, in his fullness, hey, you're going to get trapped in it unless you repent. It says, it is Yahweh's time for vengeance. He will repay her in full. You see, it's the Lord's time of revengeance. Vengeance, and he's going to pay this place in full, man. Uh, everything will be cut off real soon here in America. Uh, your food supply, you see, the power, you're gonna have no help here, man. You're gonna trust in Esau, eat him, and you're gonna be killed. And we're here to warn you, A, to repent and return back unto the true creators of heaven and earth, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you see? Going back to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 31. And it says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. Talk about who? Esau, Edom, the white boy. You see? Starting with the head elites, all the way down to your average, you know, cracker. Hey, the Lord is against these people, man. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, America. Now that would be the few, the proud, the marine. You got pride month. Hey, the Lord is finna get ready to bring this place low, man. It says, Yahweh of hosts. Let me read from the top again. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, say of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shah host. For thy day has come, the time that I will visit thee. You see, the Lord said, thy day has come. And the Lord has been giving us signs by the way of wars, rumors of wars, uh, the way how the famine is uh, being set up here. All these different uh, food distribution warehouses have been burnt down. It's a recall on every food item. You see? And Esau even taking Eve food stamps, man. He's just setting you up for the slaughter so he can bait you in to come down there and take that karagma, you see? But it says, for thy day has come, the time that I will visit thee. I'm going to get this word for visit. 
is a phrase I will visit thee H6485 it says to attend to muster you see is the Lord muster the host to the battle and you see everything that's popping off over there um, in all these different countries you had the Ukraine and Russian war now you got Israel versus Gaza and Iran has stepped in the least of the flock are drawing them out man America is finna be pulled into this war real soon man and World War 3 is soon to come your third will come up quickly that's the Lord muscle the host to the battle it says to punish you see the Lord is finna get ready to punish America brutally and you will be caught up in it lest ye repent. It says, let's scroll down to it says to seek in vain. It says need. And that's gonna be uh two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and every heathen over here. You're gonna be seeking for help in vain, man. You're gonna need food. You're gonna need uh, uh resources, tissue, soap, water help you see but there will be none but only for the elect and that's why we're hoping to be of that number that's why we're constantly warning you a to repent and return back into your powers your how about shimmy i was shy uh to scroll down it says uh be needed it says be lacking you see you're going to be lacking resources you see first and you're going to be lacking uh mental stability you're going to uh you're going to bug out man but only the elect are going to have all these faculties they're going to have food water shelter you see uh, uh and a peace of mind you see but once again, two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be lacking, man. You see? Good to go back. Book of Jeremiah 15 and 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Al Shab, host. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee, at the time when the Lord is going to unleash his wrath upon this place and, and script this place bare. He's going to take everything from it where you're going to eat your food and drink your water and measures and you will be lacking resources on all levels man and it says and the most proud shall stumble and fall and none shall raise him up i will kindle a fire in his cities and it shall devour all round about the lord's going to get ready and bring great judgment upon this place man so he's going to stumble and fall and put set fires in the city and he's going to be like those third world countries man civil war you see where well, you're going to have a lot of people out here killing each other for uh, the lack of bread or just just because uh, they hate your kind man esau edom is going to get ready and show his true colors man when all hell break loose these edomites they're going to show you niggas that they hate you man you just had a, a article come out where about downtown uh, Birmingham where you got these niggas out there doing donuts and Eve twerking you had an old Edomite at the end of the uh, video or the news report that they did they said can we just hose them down hey they're gonna show you how bad they hate you when all hell break loose they catch a nigga uh, a nigga get caught in the wrong neighborhood you you gonna get lynched man gun down they're gonna show you how much they hate you man and we warning you and that yeah, how about she mouth shot finna bring great judgment to America? And if you don't repent, you're gonna get caught up in it. And he will use Esau Edom hey, to uh do his uh to bring judgment upon you niggas as well, man. Because Esau Edom, he is the sword. You see? Book of Saint Luke, chapter twenty one, verse twenty five. Hey, like he said, hey, the Lord, this is the time that the Lord will visit you. The Lord has many spirits created for vengeance. He's going to release all those spirits created for vengeance. And ultimately, our Lord, Yahweh Shai is going to pop up on the scene as well, man. 
you're gonna be visited physically. He gonna visit you spiritually and physically. And he gonna send uh, apparitions out here. And it's gonna be a, a physical visit with that family. All this gonna be physical, man. You're gonna feel this. You're gonna know that a prophet has been among you that those guys on the corner were not just crazy and just talking shit because they're mad. No. We out there because we want to be spared in the times to come. We want the Lord uh, to not have us out here lacking or be won or to die of starvation or to have an apparition appear unto us and kill us or a newly created creature appear unto us and slaughter us in our household. You see? This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 21, and verse 25. It says, The return of Hamashiach. Yahweh and it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And we just had that solar eclipse, man. It was a very rare eclipse just happened. Where well, you had people out here bugging out. You had Eve stab her husband and throw her kids out the car, man. Hey, these are the signs that America is about to be visited, man. And it says, and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring you people are going to bug out man and like that word um visited just said uh lacking this is the word for perplexity g 60 40. it says the state of one who is in perplexity uh, you can go to the root word, it takes us G6039. It says, to be without resources. You see? That's what you're going to be. You're going to be without resources. You're going to be lacking. The Lord's going to visit you for not wanting to hearken unto his word. You see? This is the Lord showing his compassion until you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you scoff at it. So, you know what? The Lord is going to visit you brutally. And he's going he's gonna to kill you. Your children, your wife. You're gonna bug you out to the point where you're gonna take that caragma, which is the RFID microchip, and then you're gonna be melted off your flesh, man. All because you didn't want to hearken unto his men whom he set up to give you warning, whom he set up to show his love. You see? But it says to be without resources, to be in straits, to be left wanting to be embarrassed, to be in doubt, not to know which way to turn. You see, you're gonna be perplexed. You're gonna be bugged out, lacking, embarrassed. You're gonna be ashamed then because you didn't wanna hearken into the message. You see, matter of fact, a quick precept. <laughs> says you're going to be ashamed the book of jeremiah chapter 2 and verse twenty six in the nlt it says israel is like a thief who feels shame only when he gets caught you see that's why i said in uh jeremiah 51 and 6 a uh flee save yourselves don't get caught in her punishment See, you're going to get caught in the punishment of America for not wanting to hearken unto the words of his prophets. So you're going to get caught up in the judgment. And once you get caught up in the judgment, you're going to be ashamed. That's when that perplexity is going to kick in. He says America is like a thief who feels shame only when he gets caught. So when you get caught up in the judgment of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, that's when your perplexed is going to kick in. It says, they, their kings, official, priests, and prophets all are alike in this. You see? Hey, hey, and they're just naming the, the nation as a whole. You see? Uh, starting with um, the, uh, the house of Israel, with you false leaders. They're going to have shame upon them for teaching you that the mark of the beast is spiritual. And when it is on the scene... That you must receive this um, microchip, the karagma. They're going to be ashamed, and their congregation, and their congregation who have followed after them. You see, 
Yo, those are the prophets, the kings, the officials, the priests, uh, your, your celebrities. All them niggas are going to be ashamed, man, who further Esau's Edom agenda, uh, who, who just led you deeper and deeper into the judgment. They're going to be ashamed, man. Continue on. It says, to, to an image carved from a piece of wood, they say, you are my father. You know, praying to, uh, to a cross. You know, not my Jesus. You see, praying to all these different idols. It says, to an idol chiseled from a block of, of stone. That damn Mecca stone. You got a lot of niggas want to be Muslims now. You niggas going to die here, man. You say, so like I say, they say, you are my mother. They turn their backs on me, but in the times of trouble, they cry out to me, come and save us. But why not call on these gods you have made when trouble comes let them save you if they can you so like for you have as many gods as there are towns in judah so hey when all hell break loose you're going to be crying out unto the lord and the lord is going to tell you go cry to them if they can save you see what see see how much jesus can save you see how much buddha can save you see how much a damn Mecca stone can say the Lord is going to leave you niggas out here to rot, man. Because when he extended his hand trying to help you, you slapped it away. So the Lord is going to turn his back on you. Going back to the book of St. Luke 21 and verse 25. And it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Man's heart filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You see, you people are going to be terrified when Yahweh by Shema shall visit America in its fullness. And we see him visiting in this place now. You see. And it says, continue on. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And then, ultimately, after the Lord has to beat this place down, Yahweh Shai is going to pop up on his chair with the host of heaven, the angels in their chairs, man. And it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw now. And those, these are the things that we're looking for. We're looking for the destruction of America. We're looking for you, how about Shema Shah to visit this place? Because guess what? Soon as all these things pop off, soon as the Quran be implemented, soon as World War Three is implemented, you see, soon as the persecution come, Esau Edom start beheading. Hey, it's just said, look up because our redemption drive now, man. Your how is gonna be on the way, man. So, hey, Lord, willing this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders, great millstone who we learn the truth from. And I want to say shalom to the hopefully late.